The Burry twins, Lily and Patricia, came from a stage family, both parents and sisters performing. The twins were born in Edinburgh on the 1st of August 1910 and started their careers on stage alongside their sisters, Dorothy and Cecilia, as children in the pantomime Babes in the Wood. They toured England and Europe, and in Nice they were even asked to dance for the King of Sweden, with one of their proudest memories was to have acted with Albert Chevalier in his last production, My Old Dutch, and alongside Sir Charles Hawtrey in Send for Dr O'Grady. When appearing in Two Little Girls in Blue, in which the twins played the principal roles, at the Shakespeare Theatre in Liverpool in 1927, the owner, William Wallace Kelly, always alert in the manner of advertising possibilities, invited all the twins in the neighbourhood to a special matinee performance. Admission was with birth certificates and numbered 510 in total, and ages ranging from 4 to 70. After the performance, W.W. W. Kelly posed for photographs with the twins, complete with his signature cigar and buttonhole. One time, the twins danced twice nightly at the Holborn Empire and at Finchby Park, travelling between both venues by car and arriving with only minutes to spare. They also performed at the Clapham Grand in three shows and then on to Chiswick Empire where they went on to perform twice and travelled a total of 40 miles in between the two venues. In 1928 the twins performed with Douglas Wakefield in Boys Will Be Boys as one of Archie Pitt's review shows that he'd written the book and produced and directed. The show toured the country and visited theatres including Nottingham, Perth and Sheffield. Archie was Gracie Fields' husband at the time and he had the twins in many of his shows over the years. The shows were not always without incidents though and when performing the show in London at the New Cambridge Theatre, Lily had to be rushed to hospital after cutting her foot on stage. She received stitches and went on to carry on and finish the show. It was in 1931, at the age of 21, that Lily married her sweetheart, Alfie Dean. Alfie was a comedian, with his stage partner, Will Collinson, appeared in many comedy sketches, short films and radio plays, and even a performance of the Royal Variety Show in 1933 many times on the same bill as Lily and Pat. In 1948, Alfie Dean was unfortunately hit by a car on a crossing. It looked like he was recovering, but then suffered a serious blood clot and passed two months later. Lily never recovered from her loss and just concentrated on her stage career. It was also in 1931 that they returned to perform for Archie Pitt in the Review Shop as part of the Pitt Girls Ensemble. The tour started at the Palace Theatre and went on to tour the country. Again in 1931, the twins performed alongside Ollie Aston and his Melody Makers. Ollie was married to his twin sister, Cecilia and had made a name writing several compositions for Gracie Fields. He had a residency at the Leicester Square Theatre. Ollie had toured the country in the past with the twins for Alfie Pitt. The show was the Comedy King at the Stratford Empire and was reviewed in the stage and described as a musical farcical review and starred, again, Douglas Wakefield the piece had very elaborately built scenery and mentions the twins' beautiful dresses. In 1932, they briefly were billed as two blondes and a brunette, charming dancers with sister Molly. Molly was actually their younger sister Mary. The venues they appeared at were Coventry Hippodrome and Perth in Scotland. Another review in the stage in 1934 was for the Bing Boys Are Here at the Alhambra in which the twins were listed as playing the characters of Baby and Goo Goo as well as playing parrots and starred George Roby and Violet Lorraine. The show was a revival of the earlier production from 1916 with popular songs like If You Were The Only Girl In The World the show was another tremendous hit for the twins. 
Alongside the Prince sisters, the twins appeared in Hit the Deck, a colourful show in which the twins recorded two pieces, Y.O.Y. and Hallelujah, which feature on a record produced at the time. Set in Shanghai, Hit the Deck had a very successful run at the London Hippodrome Theatre. In 1935, they starred and headed the programme in the pantomime Red Riding Hood at the Theatre Royal Leeds, both singing and dancing on this occasion. Next came a residency at Prince's Golden Brasserie, which was at 195 Piccadilly in London. The twins performed some very technical dance routines for the diners at the exclusive club and even featured in a Pathé Newsreel recording. By 1942, the twins went by the name of the Dubarry Twins and appeared alongside Milita and were back on a national dance tour. Then, in 1954, Patty married Alan Percival and moved to Whitstable in Kent to be near her sister Dorothy, or Dolly as she was known. She kept in touch with Lily, who was a regular visitor from her home in nearby Gillingham and spent their later years on the beach, on their deck chairs, drinking tea and enjoying visits from the family and having a well-earned rest after a lifetime of touring. 